What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Slackers, bringing you guys our next matchup in the Everyone Is Here tournament. So, if you haven't seen it, it's a very simple concept. 100 characters are put into a tournament. Each day on the channel, I upload one of the matches from the tournament. And then uh, we'll vote between one of the two characters. Basically, you vote for which one you would rather see. Not who's more likely, but who would you rather see as a character. And then, uh, yeah, we vote down in the comments. But voting is a part of the rules, and there's a few more rules. So, here, look at the rules. All right, so you see them, and you can see rule number one. Well, it's for fun, and that's kind of what I just said. Vote for who you personally want, not who's necessarily more likely. So that's how, that's what rule one essentially means. Rule number two, you only get one vote per person. How do you vote? That's simple. Down in the comments, type, uh, type the character's name that you were voting for. You are allowed to vote for both characters, however. Just simply type the word both if you really like both the characters. Or if you're just having a tough time deciding who to vote for, you can vote for both completely okay. Always been a rule. Always will be a rule. So, uh, yeah. Rest of the rules, though. Double elimination tournament, meaning a character will have to lose twice overall before being officially eliminated from the tournament. Uh, let's see. Once we get to the results to determine the winner and loser of each matchup, if there happens to be a tie in the votes, we're just going to flip a coin on camera. It's the fairest way to break a tie. And then each matchup, voting-wise, only lasts for just one week. So... Once the episode gets uploaded, you have seven days to get your votes in. If your vote comes in after the seven days, well, it just doesn't count, sadly. All right, but those are the rules, so let's get to the rest of the video, shall we? All right, so we got to go over some results from last week. Again, another character is getting eliminated because this will be their second loss. But uh, the results from last week in the loser bracket was the matchup of Octolings from the Splatoon universe, who is taking on Sora from the Kingdom Hearts franchise and... I think most of us can, uh, can pretty much guess the way this one went. It wasn't really that close. 47 votes for Sora, who was the winner. And Octolings, only 13 votes. So, uh, Octolings, sad to see you go. But uh, if there's any consolation prize, there was definitely people that voted Sora. But on the flip side, they said Octolings would make a fun Echo Fighter or would make a awesome character because there's so many different weapons in the Splatoon game. So... I don't know. There, I mean, there, there's hope, but I, I just think the matchup, you know, the powerhouse of Sora was maybe a bit too much for Octolings this time around, but uh, hey, it, it, it happens. And uh, congrats to Sora moves on to the next round for at least one more match, because uh, again, loser bracket. You lose one more time from in the loser bracket, you're done. All right, anyway, that's the result. So let's go straight to the matchup today. So uh, we have a, where is this one at? It's here somewhere, I promise. I know I've seen it. What are you doing? Go up. There we go, there we go. Alright, so the matchup, we have King Boo, I mean, could you say the Luigi's Mansion? It, essentially, I mean, he's a Mario character, right? The, the the Mario universe, King Boo, and his opponent happens to be a legendary, iconic female character, uh, what's her name? Laura Croft, wow, I was about to say a different, different character, no, King Boo versus Laura Croft, so, um, interesting kind of matchup in a way. But uh, let, let's uh, let's just start. Let's just jump into it. So King Boo. Personally, I'm a big fan of King Boo. I have been since like Melee. I remember uh, like a really old computer I had. I don't know why I'm telling this story, but I, I, I just want to for some reason. But uh, I had this really old computer and uh, I was playing Smash Melee and I was like, oh, this is great. I'm going to make up my own roster. King Boo was the second ever character I put on that roster because I just liked the the ghost. I don't know why a ghost playable character is just kind of like really cool to me. And I've been attached to and been very fond of King Boo uh, for, well, as long as I've, well, not as long, but for a very long time uh, that I've been playing games. So King Boo, I really like the character and I like the potential that he has too. Cause it's like King Boo, how could he potentially work now real quick? It's a first party character going to be recognizable. Odds are Nintendo is going to throw a first party character maybe two in the fighter pass volume two so could king boo happen maybe uh i've been starting to see a tiny bit more chatter for king boo i'm not gonna expect him i'm gonna be completely honest i ain't gonna expect it but he would still make a very phenomenal character phenomenal addition to the roster so one a very big point not only just because i like the character but He's a villain. Come on. that's You guys know me by now. That's something I want to see. That's a category of character or a class of a character that I, I want to see. I want to see villains. I'm not saying no. Nintendo has to recognize the, the hero versus villain theme. 
I'm not saying that whatsoever, even though King Boo against Luigi would make sense, right? I'm just saying, I'm, uh, but, uh, idea. Continuation of the Simon and Richter trailer. King Boo, ha somehow Luigi comes back to life and and then King Boo, ha uh, whatever, I, <laughs> that was a dumb idea, never mind. Uh, but uh, anyway, King Boo, I guess you could do the heroes versus villain, but that's not where I'm going. I'm just strictly saying he's a villain. I want to see more villains on the roster. That is my number one I guess my number one most wanted thing, my number one most wanted character is Waluigi, and he's kind of a villain, right? But anyway, villains, I want to see more of. So, King Boo, he's a villain, he's uh, got very big roles in the uh, the Luigi's Mansion game, so I guess you could kind of give him his uh, his presence, his uh, his look from the Luigi's Mansion 3, you know, the obviously the most recent Luigi's Mansion. Give him uh, his look and, uh, you know tie-ins to the Luigi's Mansion game, which would be uh, kind of a fun little tie-in. I mean, we do have a Luigi's Mansion stage, but what if we picked like a, I don't know, like the boss room where you you fight King Boo in Luigi's Mansion and you turn that into its own, uh, its own uh, stage, and then for some reason you could have a bunch of other little ghosts or boos maybe flying around. They could be a stage hazard, so if you don't like it, you could turn it off. Just a kind of interesting idea. But how about, speaking of boos, what if King Boo uses boos overall in his moveset? Now maybe, I've always kind of floated, haha, <laughs> get it, King Boo floats. I always kind of floated this idea out there. Maybe King Boo would be allowed to kind of summon up to, you know, three regular normal boos, and they work like they do in the Mario games. Where if the opponent isn't facing him, even though it could get really chaotic in uh, like free for all, so maybe you just summon a boo, a regular one, and it just kind of like starts floating towards the uh, the uh, uh, your opponent. So it's like a, it's like a floating. I don't know. Like how do, how do, how can I put that? He's like it's a floating projectile, but it's like homing. I guess it's a uh, it'll be it'll target. You know, somebody, obviously, whoever's closest, but uh, it could be a floating projectile, and maybe you could have a couple of them that are kind of just out there floating. Obviously, after a couple, I don't know, after a set amount of time, they're going to disappear, and then you'll have to resummon them, but an idea of kind of like floating booze just all around to kind of, it's just an idea to help, I don't know, maybe extend combos or just something to rack up a tiny bit more damage. Just, uh, it would be kind of a cool uh, aspect to the character always kind of summoning you know, other var uh, variations of boos just to kind of help out. So, um, otherwise, um, let's see, King Boo, um, very quick move set. he, uh, and how the character could work. He would be a bigger character, and this is something I always say as well, a bigger character, but he's a lightweight. We don't have something like that. All the bigger characters are heavy characters. How about we flip that? Well, oh, flip that kind of in half. What? I don't know, but a big character, but he's a lightweight. He's a ghost. He's not going to weigh that much, right? So I'm, I, I think that could be a, a fun, he hits hard, but he's not going to be able to get hit hard himself. So it'd be a fun idea. Uh, he's got his crown, so you could do some headbutts. Like I said, you could summon some ghosts. There's, um, there's this boo in, I forget one of the Mario games on the, I think it was the DS. I think it's like, I, oh, now I don't remember the name. It Basically, it's like a boo that inhales a bunch of, uh, air and then it kind of inflates itself so i could imagine king boo doing something similar like that for maybe like a, a a neutral special he inhales a bunch of air and maybe his character itself gets you know a bit bigger so he's going to be bigger and while he's in the inflated form maybe his attacks will do a little bit of damage but over time he's gonna you know shrink back down to normal size and if he gets hit by, by attacks he's gonna shrink down as well so i think there could be some very uh cool unique just, I guess, aspects to the character, you know, give him his own whatever you want to do. So, I, I I like King Boo. I mean, he could work in so many different ways. Uh, I believe he's got a scepter as well, so you could use that as like a, I don't know, some sort of attack, I suppose, somewhere. I just imagine King Boo is a sword fighter for a second with the scepter. No, screw that. No, never mind. Don't, don't mention the scepter. I don't know. King Boo would be fun nonetheless. It's a character I really do want to see, and... Like I said, very, very, very small chatter. It, 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 the chatter's starting to build up just a little bit more. Just a little bit. So maybe he gets reconsidered in a future game. I don't know. How about, uh, speaking of a character that might be considered for Smash Bros. Ultimate for DLC, what about Lara Croft? One of Square's biggest franchises. One of their best selling. Now, I know the last couple Tomb Raider games, I'm pretty sure, haven't sold 
the greatest. They did sell pretty decently, but not extremely well. Um, but it's not to say that the character's not iconic or anything of the sort. Like, she goes back, uh, there's still a few people that might consider her, like, a, a PlayStation character, because Tomb Raider on the PlayStation, back in the day, that was, you know, one of their, that was one of PlayStation's biggest mascots at the time, you know, along with Crash and Spyro, and, well, <laughs> ultimately, none of those were PlayStation characters, which is kind of funny when you think about it. But, um, Laura Croft, uh, again, great name in gaming, very recognizable, you could have a survival type of, uh, moveset, you know, bow and arrows, uh, lassos, uh, maybe a pistol, maybe something like that. Uh, you could get you could get some uh, unique sort of stuff in there. And plus, um, again, like her series, her game, it might not have sold well, but collectively over the what the what couple decades now that uh, the series has been around, it, it's it always people always come back to buy the game, right? And there's there's longtime fans, and it's kind of like its own sort of. Um, you know, uh, its own, what am I trying to go for here? It's its own area of a, of a game, something we don't have represented in Smash Bros., you know, like a survival type of character. I don't think we really have anything like that, do we? Uh, does Snake count? I mean, is he kind of more action y? I mean, I guess Laura Croft is too. I don't know. I think you guys kind of know what I'm going for, but uh, yeah, Laura Croft, though. Um, obviously, the fact that she's a female, we still didn't get any solo female characters. No Byleth does not count. Uh, but solo, straight, female. Um, could it work? I don't know. I think uh, Nintendo and Squared, they co they could work together. Um, but the thing with uh, Squared, they've been a tiny bit stingy. I mean, we've seen the way that they were with uh, Cloud and Final Fantasy and the whopping two music tracks that we've gotten for that. Okay. And then Dragon Quest was a little bit light. Even the spirits were kind of light. Uh, when uh, Hero got released as well. We did get four different iterations of Hero, which is a very cool touch. I will, you know, tip my hat in, in that uh, aspect, in that regard. So, I mean, Square, maybe they're a little bit more stingy on what... on everything they would allow to come with the character. So, we could get the character. Maybe we only get a couple... I mean, some, you know, some of the, the music in uh, Tomb Raider would actually kind of be... Uh, really fun to kind of like throw around into a couple other stages and uh, I don't know fun character she's definitely talked about uh, I don't think she's nearly talked about and this is just from me coming from what I personally see around the internet social media comment section whatever it might be her name gets thrown around but I don't see it talked about as much as like Doom Slayer and Crash Bandicoot and you know characters like that like her name will be thrown around but I, I don't know. I see, like, somebody brings up the topic of Laura Croft, and then, like, the topic kind of, like, dies off, fizzles really quickly, you know? It's it's not like anything... At least I don't see that. So, um, we'll see how she ends up doing in this matchup, I suppose. Either way, she's still going to survive, and uh, she'll be in at least one more match, because, again, got to be eliminated, or lose twice to be eliminated officially. Since we're in the winner's bracket, no losses. But this one, for me... Uh, Tomb Raider's never been my thing, I'm gonna be completely honest. Tomb Raider's never been my sort of game. Or, not not that it wasn't my game, it just wasn't something that made me go, yes, I have to continue playing it and continue purchasing the future games. You could tell me there's a new Tomb Raider game coming out tomorrow for the Switch and it's exclusive, and while that would be awesome for the Switch, I probably would not buy it, I'm gonna be 100% honest. Just wouldn't do it. So, King Boo's got my vote in this one. Just a character I really do like. I I truly do like King Boo. I think he's a very underrated, very unseen <laughs> ghost. <laughs> but he's a very underrated character, and I think he deserves a bit more recognition. So, Boo's got my vote. Let me know who you guys got in the comments. King Boo, Lara Croft, or both. They're all fine options. So, sneak peek for tomorrow. The matchup. Oh, oh, the spirit battle. Okay, um... So, the matchup tomorrow, and uh, I think it actually could be a really good one, but it's Rex and Pyra from the Xenoblade series. We'll talk about it. I mean, Sakura, I wanted to put him in the first time, but couldn't quite. We'll talk about it tomorrow. But Rex and Pyra, and then their opponent, Rayman. So, what's up with Rayman? Uh, Ubisoft just got some uh, me costumes, right? 
I don't know. Is, is it, I, who cares? We'll talk about it tomorrow. It should be a really good matchup tomorrow. But then uh, results. Let's see. Who do we got tomorrow? Another loser bracket. Again, somebody else is getting eliminated. Oh, well, too far. Who's the matchup? Tomorrow's matchup, the results is going to be from Tails, Sonic character. Uh, and he was, he was taking on Hatsune Miku. So that's tomorrow. Today's today. Today's wrapping up. I hope you guys enjoyed as always. And hopefully we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.